Hey everybody, I'm sitting on the runway here at JFK. Got the new NVIDIA driver installed that was released yesterday. I installed the fly-by-wire ASX320, which you see here on the ground in front of us. I am running live traffic, which I really have never done. And I just saw a plane land over there and I see another one taxiing down there. And so I'm going to test this out here in New York and see what it's like with this new driver. So far with the other jet, my T-45 Goshawk Navy trainer jet, I, I absolutely love the results I've been seeing. The quality has increased and the frame rates are increased. It's super smooth. So we're going to give it a shot now with this guy. So let's go ahead and get inside the flight deck. All right, so now I'm in the flight deck here, and you know, everything is looking really good, real clear. Movement is nice. The outside looks good from here. Everything is looking really nice right now, so let's go ahead and, and we already have clearance. Let's release the parking brake, and let's spool her up, and let's get going. Smooth so far down the runway. Lines moving quick, pretty smooth. Traffic count now window, scenery moving pretty smooth. Yeah, I would say definitely improved. But so far, yeah, it's uh, looking very smooth to me. Of course, the recording won't be as smooth as what I'm seeing. I will tell you that. The recorded version tends to stutter just a little bit more than what I actually see in my Quest headset. This is being recorded on my headset wirelessly. I do not use the Oculus Link cable. I do not use EarLink. I use virtual desktop which is an oculus app with steam vr and we're over speed again just can't fly level with this guy there's cruise definitely improved looking out the window now as far as the settings that i have on i have done screenshots of them in a video but i will show them here there's a jet taken off down there pretty smooth to me seeing this guy and again this is live traffic the outside graphics are looking pretty sharp I mean to me I don't care so much about this because I don't fly from outside that's not what I'm interested in but it sure does give you an idea Nighttime now, just about. Sun is down. Not gonna see much light at this point. But uh, we get a nice low in the cabin, don't you? Again, I don't know if you'll be able to see that traffic down below me. This is again live traffic, which is first time I've actually really flown with it and 
it seems to be working really, really good, considering I can see that down there. And I don't have generic models on for live traffic. I have it set to high and with non-generic models. for a render scaling which is 2124 by 2205 terrain level of detail 90 off screen caching low terrain vector medium buildings medium trees medium grass off objects level of detail 100 clouds low texture resolution high antistropic anistropic filtering eight times, super sampling off, synthesis medium, water waves low, shadow map 768, terrain shadows 256, contact shadows off, windshield effects medium, ambient occlusion medium, cube map reflections 128, ray marched reflections low, light shafts high, bloom on, Glass cockpit refresh rate medium. Traffic is running real time online. Airport vehicle density 23. Ground aircraft density 20. Road vehicles 28. Generic plane models for AI traffic off. Traffic variety high. Data online functionality, Bing data, world graphics on, photogrammetry on, live real data traffic on. I have a rolling cache that is just the default. I have not changed it. I have in the past, but since I've done the driver update, I've not changed it. And at this point, I don't know if I will. We'll see. I might still play with this, but those are my current settings in the game. And I am more than satisfied with the quality of the graphics that I can look down there and see right now from where are we? 32, 33,000 then and it's still going by smoothly we got nice light nice bloom cockpits looking good yes that driver makes a difference for sure